Blizzard just, Blizzard just can't win. Hello everybody, my name is Cyclo Hunter, and today I'm here to tell y'all about some disappointing news that happened today with Overwatch. But first, let's go into my experience with Overwatch, just so then people can understand where the fuck I'm coming from. So, me and my brother bought Overwatch sort of like a year after it came out, because by the time we played it, it was the second archive event, which was uh, Retribution. Um, I loved Retribution, and I actually really enjoyed playing it. Um, when we first got it, we were actually wanting to play the story mode, which we thought the game had. We didn't do a lot of video, uh, we didn't do a lot of, like, searching videos on it. We just didn't want it, it to get spoiled if there was a story mode or anything like that. Um, so with that said, we just said, fuck it, and we mindlessly bought it. And, lo and behold, there was no PV, there was no, uh, campaign mode, there was no story mode. It was PvP. And that's it. Uh, I was I was a little disappointed because I was like, I don't want to play PvP. It's insane. But uh, then then something I don't know what it was. I think it was just because I had like an unstoppable will to not fucking um give up on this. So I wanted to just play Overwatch, and that's pretty much what I did. I just played Overwatch, even when I didn't want to play it. I wanted to play it because I just wanted to shoot some shit. So that's pretty much what I did. Uh, I just played it just for that, and then I started getting good. And uh, one game I did, I mastered Moira. So I was like, okay, I want to play this bitch. I actually like her. Then, sure enough, I mastered Moira, and I actually got into a good platinum. I was close to diamond. Um, I didn't get that far because I just sort of quit after a while. Because uh, the original plan I was trying to get up there was mainly because I was trying to get golden weapons for Moira soldier and reaper but then other characters like ash um hell i did it with hanzo when i the, hanzo was the one that killed the idea for me to get over all of them was because i never played hanzo in pvp but i just got his golden so that's why i i don't and that's why i don't play pv uh comp no more i don't i don't play comp no more and that's where i left the game and um by this time when i left uh 2019 hit and they announced overwatch 2 I was fucking excited. <laughs> I was I was excited about it. Um, they they said Overwatch Two was going to be um, PVE. It was there was going to be a story mode. There was going to be replayable missions almost every week. Uh, it, it was it was literally if you love story games and you love like content coming in constantly in an evolving world that still gets fucking like pushed all the fucking time. This was your fucking wet dream. That's what this was. It was. It sounded like a fucking dream come true for Overwatch, especially for someone like me that really loved these characters. One learned so much more about them, but can't because it's only very limited shit that we get off a of fucking cinematic or video. Um. So that's where I was really, really, really excited, and that's when. That's also when uh, Overwatch started going through a little bit of problems as well, to where it wasn't getting. Um, it wasn't getting patched a lot. There was a lot of shit broken still. There was stuff not getting uh, fixed a lot. They they were trying, but it was still a lot of big problems about it. Uh, it wasn't until 2022 to where they said, fuck it, we're going to release the PvP part of Overwatch and make it free to play. Now, here's the thing. I didn't give a shit about that, mainly, mainly because I said that's what they should do in general. And I even said that they should release a battle pass as well. Um, because I think that would have really benefited them. If they did it right, they did not. In my opinion, I think their battle pass is by far the worst battle pass in existence because it does it doesn't reward the player for anything. Um, and I do mean that it, it literally does not reward us for anything. It's it's literally like the worst battle pass ever. Um, now with that said, let's, let's keep going. Um, season one of Overwatch, I was excited. I liked playing Kitiko. I loved playing Junker Queen. I loved playing Soldier. Not so much Soldier, but I did like playing Junker Queen and Kitiko, and I was playing them for a while. But I'm I'm a decent Kitiko now. I'm not really like go no. Um, I I did play it. I liked it. I liked the five v five because the games felt like they mattered. It felt like more of a fight that you had to go in and actually fight. Uh, 
and all that, and I did like it. Uh, it didn't get me excited to play a lot of it, though. It it, it sort of did its normal thing where it felt lackluster, and I just said, fuck it. Um, season 2 came out. Season 2... What was Season 2? I think that was the Zeus event. Yeah. Yeah. Right? What was that? Yeah, no, 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 no. That was gonna, no, yeah, that was the Zeus event. So that was season two. Season two was Zeus event. Um, where we got Ramatra. Right? Because now that just makes no sense. Because we got Kiriko season one. And then we got Ramatra season two. And then Kiriko was the mythic for that. And then... I guess so yeah i guess that's right oh fuck a bit weird because they said it was supposed to be like an on and off so we were supposed to get kiddical and then we were talking weird i don't get it uh point is though um yeah first season it was okay i liked it second season fucking loved it mainly because Ramatro was bullshit <laughs> <laughs> Romatro was hella bullshit, and me and my friends played it. It, it was it was fun. It was like, oh my god, because uh, oh no, it was just fun. But when you activated the old, you know the game was over. Um, it, it was weird. Romatro is like the one tank that I know I do not like, but at the same time, I don't mind fighting it because it's so fun, like fighting or running again, running away from it. Romatro, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I actually don't ever get pissed by Onomatra ever. I like get annoyed, but I don't get like so I don't get like that. Um But yeah, season two was fun. Season three was a bit of a letdown. Uh mainly because Kiriko did not deserve that mythic and should have gone someone else. Uh same thing with Joker Queen off Ramatra season, she didn't need that mythic. Some other bitch should have gotten that. Um Sigmas this season. I think the skins were fire. The problem is, and this is an issue, uh, they don't put in the skins everybody wants in the Battle Pass. They put dumbass skins in there, and I mean that. They put sh shitty fucking skins in the Battle Pass all the fucking time. Um, now, we are to where we are now. Uh, I want to point out here, at the beginning of Season 1, they promised us that the PvE stuff was going to probably debut at the beginning of this year, 2023. Uh, we are five months in, and we heard no news until today. Today, they talked about PVE, and they talked about a difficult decision they made. Uh, first, they said their first difficult decision was either continue making players wait for Overwatch 2 until it was fully fucking polished so then they could release it. That was the first difficult choice, because it was either do that or just release it free to play. And sure enough. They released it free to play. And they all enjoyed it. But the thing is, even with a three year head start, they still should have been close to finish the PvE, at least by like another year, maybe. Uh, but according to them, no, they were not. So, what do they do? I disappointed. So, what do they do? They um, they um, they launched free to play. So they were met with another difficult decision because apparently, from what they said, P the PVE development was did not go as far as they thought they would be at right now. Uh, apparently, they don't have an end in sight with the PVE that they promised, which was skill trees, uh, player progression. Uh, character progression to where they level up and then they get like new abilities to, for the skill tree and all that stuff. Apparently, uh, there was a lot of issues with that. They don't go into detail with it, but apparently there was issues with that. Um, and they were pretty much more behind than ahead, even though it took them three fucking years. But yeah. Um, so they had a difficult decision. Continue working on the PVE. And make players wait for a long ass time or release it. Water down, no skill tree, no character progression, no nothing. 
they decided to release it watered down. And I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say for shit real quick. Game director Aaron Keller, fuck you. I'm sorry, but ever since you took leadership as the game director for Overwatch 2, I am sorry, but you have literally, literally ruined the game. You don't fight for the game. You don't do anything like that. Instead, you just do whatever the fuck Blizzard tells you to do. Because here's the thing, and it, it was even pointed out on a report with Jeff Kaplan. Jeff Kaplan fought a lot with because Blizzard wanted to do a lot of changes to Overwatch to what it is practically now. But fucking Jeff didn't hold back. He was trying to fight and he was defending even his staff from even the fucking sketchy shit that went down as well. He was trying to protect them away from that type of environment and that mentality and shit like that. And it, he did a great job. And then he left, and then they fucking made A.A. Ron the fucking leader, and A.A. Ron's just a fucking, <laughs> I'll do it. And then he takes a thing up his ass. It's, he he annoys me because literally he's so dead inside. He doesn't have any creativity. Like, Jeff had creativity. This guy doesn't have shit because he hasn't talked to us till now. We haven't heard shit from Aaron till today. That's the crazy thing. Oh my god. Last thing we heard from Aaron was like, I believe after Jeff left, they, they tried doing another game developer thing, and then boom, he never returned after that. Like, it was so hated that they just never returned. Until today. I... I... <sighs> It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense how so much time was wasted. So much material was wasted. So much voice actors' times were wasted reading lines that are now just fucking thrown away. It's, it's just the biggest slap to the face because I've been waiting a good... Four years. I'm not going to do any of that rounding up shit because, yes, technically we haven't hit the four year fucking mark with Overwatch 2, but it doesn't fucking matter. Point is, we've been waiting. We've been waiting so fucking long for this game because I have been fucking waiting and waiting and waiting and hoping that we get this and that it fucking saves Overwatch, but now they said that we are not getting it. Let me explain a little bit better now. PvE is coming. But it is the watered down version. What does watered down mean? People who don't know, they had events back in the day called archive events. Pretty much it was just playing the normal tanks with their normal abilities. No player progression, no special shit, no nothing like that. And that was it. You just attack computers and that's it. And no, the computers were mine dead as well. Unless you played it on Legendary. That's when they were actually alive. Um, but that that is the version we will be getting with this version. It's disappointing because I feel like not only did I waste my time but I feel like I have also wasted my time defending this game. Don't get me wrong. I talk shit about Overwatch as well. I, I've done it numerous times as well. But a good majority of the time, if anybody else talks like mad shit, don't get me wrong. I could talk shit about it, but that's because I also do it with Destiny. But I still love the games. But now it, it's, it is literally not worth defending at this point because now... It is literally the biggest waste of time ever in all existence. This is the this year for video games. Just thinking about it is the worst in history because we had bad Redfall. Uh, Lightfall was terrible. Um, 
The, the only thing that wasn't terrible this year was probably Hogwarts Legacy. That's the only good game this year. Um, now this, it, it is it is literally, 2023 is the worst year for games. And it's so fucking weird. I can't believe it. Um, now, now let's, let's talk about something else. Because let's look at the positives. Or what could possibly be a positive from this. So, here's the thing. Yes, I know I'm not looking. I want this because I'm just, I just, can't. God, I'm so fucking emotional. No. Um, so, here's the thing. Let's look back all the way back to October. October had an event called The Bride of Junkenstein. Or The Bride of Junkenstein's Revenge. Um, that was, I think it's actually the fucking name. Holy shit, I only said it. Um, that is the event to where pretty much Stormbra playing the bride fucking comes in and um, tries to kill us. Uh, but we play as new heroes. We play as Pinnacle, Chunker Queen, um, <laughs> excuse me, Ash, Zoljin. You play as all of them. Okay? Now, you play as them, you go through it. Now, no, these guys didn't have special ults. They didn't have nothing like that. They didn't have a skill tree. It was just the normal abilities. But, it was fun. It was replayable. I enjoyed it. I actually wanted to play more of it. That was the cool thing. Now let's get into the bad shit. Starwatch. Starwatch, they keep promoting it as a PvE slash PvP. It's not that. It's PvP. It's because there's one Doomfist that's a bot. does not make it PvE. It's PvP. And that's it. I need to point that out here. I played PvE slash PvP. It's called Gambit off Destiny 2. That shit's 50 times better than fucking Star Watch. Want to why? Because at least I get pissed off more in that one. This one, I don't give a shit if I win or lose. Uh, point is that was a disappointment, but the, PV, the PvE part. Drunkenstein's thing was actually the, a big fucking success, and a lot of players were actually replaying it a lot. So with that said, maybe, maybe, maybe Overwatch could do something with it to where maybe that's what these story modes will be. Maybe they will be fun. Maybe they will be replayable. But the one thing I do want to point out here and I think is an actual bad thing for Overwatch at least to do is the drip feed. The, the reason drip feed exists or drip feed content shit exists like in Destiny is because Destiny has already said the world is forever evolving. It's going to change when the week changes. It's going to be different. It's always going to be different. The, the, the drip feed shit works in Destiny because everything technically works in real time in Destiny. Not really, but somewhat in there. Um, with... With Overwatch 2, I don't see that type of world ever being like that. I feel like with them, don't get me wrong, maybe it will take a couple times, but the world of Overwatch 2 does not seem like it would move on the same time span or, yeah, pretty much the same time span as Destiny 2. Like that, that's, that's the thing that I don't think would work with this. Um, they said they will release some stuff to where the Battle Pass will fit more around the thing. But I noticed when they said they're going to name the seasons now based off what the fuck the thing is. I wanted to point out this too. They have been copying a lot of shit from Destiny. Like transaction wise, the fucking battle pass wise. They, they've been copying a lot of shit from Destiny. And I've noticed it. Because um, the thing is, I even pointed this out. Destiny, they did over monetize their shit when Shadowkeep launched. But that's also because they were trying to promote themselves as a big fucking game company because they branched off Activision. Big W there, by the way. And everybody wanted to fund the game, and that's what happened there. Because everything was still, like, cheap-ass prices. To whereas Overwatch, in their shop, everything, everything is 20 bucks. And that's where I think they shot themselves in the foot. Yes, I know I'm ranting at this point, but point is... um. Point is, th this could be a positive. Maybe. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, we're not getting what we promised. We're getting a shitty drip feed type of season. Um, I, I don't... The thing is, and this is the, the other thing that could be a con, and I hope, I hope they don't do this, 
is to where they released one mission per season. That's all you get. <laughs> I I don't think it'll be that. I hope it's not that. If it is that, though, my fucking god. My point is that is that's all I gotta say. Hopefully, this hopefully the way they go will be good. But with this said, Overwatch One did not need to die for this. That's what sucks even more is that Overwatch died for no reason at this point. A sacrifice was made for no reason. And it's sad. Um, but either way, that's that's it for me, guys. Um, thank you guys for watching uh, this video, and also thank you guys for watching the Fortnite video you guys did. Honestly, nope, I didn't expect anybody to watch it, but uh, I'm glad people did. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to be working on more stuff like that. Um, even streaming, we're going to be streaming again as well. Uh, I, I'm sorry I haven't been streaming as much this week. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um... I've just been busy or been pretty much out of it again because shit went crazy this week. Um, but yeah, uh, stuff's getting back together. So if anything, we should get back on track with streaming again. But um, yeah, no, thank you guys for watching. Whether it's live recorded or either order. I just said my stream outro. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, share this video to y'all guys, friends you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know what y'all guys' are, opinions are on Overwatch 2's PvE. Um, because I, I'll, I'll let you know. I am very disappointed right now very uh but like i said hopefully it's good because just like i said the junker junkenstein's one was fantastic without it maybe the story mode will be the same way maybe um but like i said thank you guys for watching peace out take care have a great night